purification of water rain water is the purest form of water water in wells rivers lakes etc has many impurities these impurities may be soluble like salts or insoluble like mud and sand it may contain disease causing microorganisms water must be purified before use there are many methods to purify water like boiling sedimentation and decantation filtration and chlorination sedimentation and decantation in this method water is allowed to stand for some time in a container the mud and many insoluble impurities settle down at the bottom of the container this process in which insoluble impurities settle down is called sedimentation now the water is gently poured out into another container take care the settled impurities should not be disturbed the process by which water is gently poured out to another container after sedimentation is called decantation although most of insoluble impurities are removed by this method but even then the water we get after decantation is not very clean as it may still contain very fine impurities filtration this method of purifying water is better than sedimentation and decantation in this process water is passed through a filter paper the setup used is shown in figure the impurities remain over the filter paper and are called residue the clear liquid filters out in a separate container and is called filtration this process is called filtration it is also used as follows we generally use a strainer or a fine cloth piece to filter things at home water flowing on the surface of the earth also gets filtered through layers of soil and gets collected as underground water boiling it is the simplest and ancient way to purify water the filtered water may contain germs which can make us sick boiling water kills the germs present in it chlorination chlorine acts as a disinfectant germs present in water can be killed by adding chlorine in the form of tablets or any other form the process of adding chlorine in water to kill germs is called chlorination